This is awesome. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, we've got 20 mods for you for all platforms. We got 15 new and two updates. We do have one mod that is new for console and an update for PC. That's in front of you right here. And we've also got two other PC only updates. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have a new brand for you, the Valentine Maxi Squalo 4700. This is a power hero. It's gonna require 170 horsepower as a 4.7 meter working width at five miles per hour, so a little bit slower. And you could change up. You got a rice roller here in the back. You've also got a spiked roller and a cage roller as well. So you could change that up however you like. And your main color, you could change from green to red, which looks phenomenal. And then you've got an old green as well, but this will match uh, John Deere and, and uh, Finn very nicely. Pricing is very affordable as well, about $35,000. Nice mods by SMI Mod Team. They always do a great job. And to match that, we have the Valentini Ripper 4500, again by the SMI Mod Team. This is different though. This is a subsoiler. So they're going to require 90 horsepower as a 4.5 meter working width at seven miles per hour. So a little bit smaller, but a little bit faster. And main color again, exact same thing here so you've got stuff for cultivation and you have things for plowing and cultivation both together subsoiling if you will 4.5 meters you're going to be able to use this with some larger equipment as well that is nice and super cheap 15 grand for this very cool next new mod for all platforms is going to be the new holland ts series now if you played fs17 you may remember something very similar to this and it's really cool to see something like this back in farming simulator 19 this is by the arm team the arm team here we go let's start it off customization we've got no fenders only front fenders only back fenders and then all fenders one really cool thing is it adds the fenders to the smaller wheels as well generally you don't get that very cool to see we're gonna leave that on only all fenders yeah there you go in design we've got clean windows and we have tinted windows which is just insane how much sun do you need to justify that call me crazy i like looking into the cab right there we'll set up to so a standard two-wheel drive we do have a two-wheel drive with weights in the back looking amazing we have wide tire two-wheel drive, wides with weights two-wheel drive, rear twins two-wheel drive, Nokian two-wheel drive, and then we jump into our four-wheel drive model. So we have standard four-wheel drive. If you have your front fender installed, it will make that go out. And I believe that's a totally different fender as well. That does not look like the same one. It might be, but I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so at all. So you got standards. You've also got wheel weights, wide tires, wides with weights, rear twins, narrow tires great to see that communals all the way around and then back to a standard two wheel drive version engine setups here we have the ts90 which is going to give you 80 horsepower and you have the ts90 fiat agri which also has 80 horsepower you have the ts100 that's giving you 90 horsepower right here same thing in the fiat agri and we've got a ts110 which gives you 100 horsepower I feel like this numbering scheme's a little bit off fiat agri oh yeah 115 how about 125 horsepower yep you can get it in red as well and then you go back down to standard so anywhere between 80 90 100 and 125 horsepower and you'll be good to go and yeah you can stick a front loader on here as well very cool tractor looks great <laughs> i mean come on you gotta have one of these right next new mod for all platforms we have the lizard rlp 400 this is a roller and rollers add fertilizer which is cool free fertilizer stay right here only in one state but you get it nonetheless here we go design we've got standard we also have a scraper in front so it's going to add both of those i really like that it's propped up on like a two what was that two by four two by six something like that either way that is hilarious we used to do that stuff on my grandpa's farm all the time we'd have pieces of wood just sitting around everywhere to hold stuff up this is going to require 120 horsepower four meter working width at nine miles per hour hey free fertilizer pay for itself in no time next is the lizard z510 pack this has a three meter and four meter version funny enough the three meter is a z510 4 and this one is a z510 5 because of how many rakes are on here now this guy right here you see a lot of this in the united states especially in the area that i live a lot of the farms around have something very similar to this this is your three meter version and here we go design color pretty much whatever you want we are going to go 
with a yellow. That's going to be your uh, rakes on the outside. And then your main color, we'll go with that color right there because that's pretty much everything that you see around here anyway. Well, there you go. Nice. Looks good. Looks very good. Matter of fact, even if you want to do, can you do like a silver? Yeah. Hey, look at that. That looks good too. Same thing here. Same customization options. Same colors. Ba boom, baby. These are super mega cheap as well. $1,500 respectively. Working speed of nine miles per hour. Next, we have something that you can only describe as not knowing you needed it until we had it. North Mining Company brings us the NMC Warning Weight. This weight includes a movable roof rack with both a beacon bar and lights so that you can fit them to all tractors. <laughs> Maybe more. With a front hitch options include a rack without the bar option. You also get one with the bar only having one beacon. And the weight total is 1,500 kilograms. It's for bigger tractors with front lift. So be careful on this with using it with any tractor. So all colors, whatever, doesn't matter. All the colors are there. And then a design we have standard. We have with beacon, and then we have beacon only. So standard, with beacon, beacon only. I'd happen to have one of these, so let's jump out and let's check it out with a Kloss tractor. Here we have the Axion 800, and we are going to hook up to this. Let's turn on help windows so we can see what's going on. There we go. So you can see, nice weight's working good. It's actually a medium tractor's right here. Now let's pull up our help window so we can see what to do with this. I'm going to hold left bumper or L1 if you're on PlayStation and we see we get full movement. Oh yeah. So can you technically use this in the air? Absolutely. And I'm sure you guys are going to do some really funny stuff with this, but it's meant to be used on your tractor. So if you press both of the bumpers together, you can spin and rotate it. So you can put it towards the front if you want, put it towards the back if you want. Whatever you like, you can actually do. And then lastly, we're going to tilt it. <laughs> you need to get this back right because I started messing with it. And then literally put it, well, you can put it wherever you want. It's meant to be used kind of like, you know, like this. To where it looks like it's on there. Not quite. Come on, DJ. Get it together, bro. <laughs> So you got it like that. So now you've got warning flashers with your beacons. You've got lights that come on with your headlights, which provides a whole lot of light on there. You also get lights towards the side as well. Great to have that on there. You can also, well, it says lower, but the weight itself isn't actually lowering. Other than that, that's it. It's just kind of the customization to put it up there. And what happens if we decide to rotate this around? Yep, our lights are shining in every direction, and that's actually a good thing. I like that. I like the opportunity to be able to put this wherever I want. That's awesome, dude. And will it work in the back? Drop it. Hey, it just goes bloop right there. I wonder if it'll go back to right where we had it. I wonder if I back up to it. I wonder if it's going to take care. Let's find out. Hook up. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I need to get a little bit closer on here. Can we get it? Yep, there we go. And it just leaves it there, so obviously it's not rehooking up the same place. This seems like something that you would hook up and leave there. Yeah, but the good thing is, if you mess up, well, simply put it back on here and retry. This, the dude, all right, this is cool, man. I know we had talked about this at Farm Sim News quite a bit, and I know we teased this, but look at that. Back on there, and now your tractor looks awesome. Again, it's for larger tractors, so you're not going to be running this with something, you know, a small tractor. You're not going to say, oh, well, the weight doesn't look good. It weight's fine. Weight looks good on here. Looks good on the tractor. Dude. <laughs> That's awesome, yes! Next new mod for all platforms is the Camara Livestock Trailer. I think I call this the Camera Livestock Trailer a couple times at Farm Zone News, I apologize. Wheel Brands here, we have Lizard, Midas, and back to Lizard again. You can't change those up, they are what they are. And then Beacons on here, we've got Standard, and then with Beacon in the very back, you've got that. What does this hold? Well, this will hold 63 chickens, oh yeah. You've also got four cows, seven pigs, eight sheep, and six horses. Six horses in here? <laughs> it seems like a little bit much, but hey, 
Um, yeah, I think the uh, 63 chickens will probably look a little bit funnier in here. I like this. I like this a whole lot. I dig it, man. I dig it. Do we have chickens on all these now? I must have a chicken mod turned on. Do I have a chicken mod turned on? I might have a chicken mod turned on. Is there chickens on console? Can you do this? Let me know. You guys know the Flegel Timber Runner? Well, it just got a big addition. This is a totally different mod, not an update. This is the Flegel Timber Runner Z Crane Pack. This is gonna come with a Z Crane seat, and it also comes with the Z Crane EPS. So you've got a uh, place to go in there and just hide if you want. Otherwise, <laughs> drops in, there you go. Otherwise, you've got some customization here. Main color, we're gonna, wow, that's a whole lot of colors. Yeah, we're definitely going with Silly Pea Green on that. Rim color, I think it's pretty obvious what these are going to be. Chrome. And then main color here. Yeah, we got to go with pink. Come on, man. We got to go with pink. Ooh, is this chrome pink? Pink metal. Yes. Chrome pink. And then Will Brands here, we've got Lizard, which just look phenomenal by themselves. You've also got Nokian and back to Lizard. In Nokian, or uh, Lizard tires, we have Normal. I don't know what that is. I don't, I, um, Lin Lincoln doesn't appear to be changing anything and it doesn't cost anything either. And an Okian normal and what is that? I don't even know what that is. Huh? Not often do I get thrown off, but there you go. You've got Lincoln and normal. Hmm. Interesting. Log or a long wood support. You've got no. And yes. So you've got the extra support here. Um, that's going to help you kind of adding things and making sure that your longer logs are able to come on here just fine. And mud flap decals on here. You have nothing. And then we have signs. Hey, we also have Mr. Uh, Forshnik. There you go. <laughs> Hashtag stay home. <laughs> I love it. Play a part together. That's so cool. Yo, I don't know if those just snuck through, if those actually passed testing, but that's amazing. Yes. Next up, we've got something kind of unique. This is the Swath Roller by Luca Modding. I've um, been kind of watching this mod recently. It's a Swath Roller, and you can use this to roll over your swaths before you drive over them with a tractor. That way you don't get stuck or anything like that. And it also functions as a leveler. The tool can be found in the leveler sections of the store, which is where we're at right now. Price is going to be $1,500, and this does weigh 750 kilograms. So it's not light by any means, but it's certainly not that heavy, at least for most of the tractors in game. So you got a big swath, roll over this. It's going to compact it down just a little bit. Make roll it over with a smaller uh, baler or something like that. A little bit easier. Remember when we were making fun of the hoverboard? <laughs> It's real, man. It's real. We've got the Lizard Hoverboard. It goes 10 miles an hour, has 100 liters of fuel, and will go 12 miles per hour. Not too bad. Is that 10 miles per hour? 10, 10 horsepower. It goes 12 miles per hour. Main color, you've got some interesting colors. It looks like maybe colors were just grabbed from uh, from the, the Warrior Plus Plus, something like that. And then we also have some custom colors through here as well. Let's see, including DJ Goham Nitro Blue. So you've got the colors that come with some of the TLX stuff as well. That's pretty cool to see. And if you select it, it goes boing, 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 boing. <laughs> super cheap, $800. If you change the color up, let's eh, see, 100. Does it get any more expensive than that? Nope, looks like 100 bucks it is. And it, you can actually tab to it. <laughs> It's great. Uh, let's see, we'll go up to 12 miles per hour. Looks like it's stopping around 11, 12 if you turn. We, yep, we got our 100 liters of fuel, which it doesn't seem to be using any of. It actually says it uses zero liters per hour. It doesn't make any noise, so I'm assuming that this is an electric one. They're not gas powered, so they're there's that it does have brake lights and you've got uh front lights do we have turn signals give me turn signals <laughs> we've got turn signals as well of course we do man of course we do what do you guys think about this is this something that you're going to be using are you going to be saying to yourself you know what i didn't know i needed that i need that now and i have it so i'm going to drive this around everywhere can we do some uh can we do some olympics with this Oh, uh, 
Don't, um, whoa! <laughs> uh... <laughs> help? Please help? <laughs> Where's my guy? What's first person look like? It won't even let me go to first person. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Let's, let's get this thing back on its wheels. There we go. Oh, there is no first person. Okay, so just first person doesn't exist. Um... I think I figured out how to break it already. That's pretty cool. What do you guys think of this? This is neat. Next, we have the Corteva Gallon Fertilizer and Herbicide 20 Liters. These are going to be 20 liters a pop. You have liquid fertilizer and herbicides, a compact canister, easy to handle, so you can move it around with your hands and stuff like that. We had seed bags, so this is kind of the liquid fertilizer and herbicide equivalent to seed bags. Very cool. Um, this is one of those mods that you didn't really know you needed until you had it. And I think this is going to make work a whole lot easier for a lot of you guys. Next new mod for all platforms is the Lizard Silage Adjustment. This is used for front loader tools. It is found in front loaders and it is used for silage work to move stuff around, that kind of thing. It doesn't say what it can hold. Most buckets do. However, this does not. It does say that it is a uh, leveler. So you're probably just going to be running over your bunker, pushing stuff outside, and this will help get everything nice and level for you to come through and compact. Boom. You can change up base color. You got it whatever color you want in game plus a custom blue color. It's going to cost you an extra 200 bucks, totaling $3,700 if you change the color, 3,500 if not. Next up, we got a new weight, the Fent Weight 1250. This is 1,250 kilogram front weight. You've got multiple color options here. You get kind of like that concrete Look, I do like that or iron, I don't know what they are, but you can change it whatever color you want. And a lot of you guys like me would probably use it just like this. The rope is decorative only and it uses a three point attachment. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is <laughs> number 14. This is the Lizard SD1. This cultivator is a machine for all types of tillage, stubble cultivators after harvest, seed bed preparation after plowing, shallow tillage in spring, or stubble after the application of manure, slurry, or after green fertilization. AKA, it is a cultivator, but I love the fact that they went the extra mile. They're like, you know what? I know it's an almost three meter lizard cultivator. I get it. Let's give it a great <laughs> description. And you have, and I'm very impressed. 85 horsepower, 2.7 meters at nine miles per hour, main color. Thank you. Hey, this is this is how you do it right here. This, this is how you do it. See that color? Pink color? Yeah. Any color in the game. Plus we have some custom colors as well. Uh, you got a couple different green colors here and an olive that looks great. Plus all of this, is that, is that the end game colors? Not all of them, but two of them, or one of them is. But you've got all kinds of good stuff here. Change it whatever color you want. Design, we have standard, and you've got the bar roller in the back. Not only that, this is a version with harrows in the back. So you can run with harrows, make it look nice and neat. Get the same color options here, main colors. You just got a New Holland uh, tractor. This would look great on that New Holland tractor. Look at that. Dude, this is how you do it. I'm telling you, this is how you make a lizard cultivator. Everyone take notes. And lastly, today, wooden fence. This is a fence to decorate the farm. Daily upkeep is going to be 10 bucks per day. Price is 50 bucks per each. You've got a wooden fence post, and that daily upkeep is going to be $8. Price is 30 bucks. So there you go. Wooden fence for your farm. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. First up, we have the custom modding John Deere 8R US series. That was uh, the big update was released last week, and we've got a change log of 2.001, fix some bugs, squish them. And your last mod update for all platforms day is the Sosnovka Chicken Pen by Adub Mining. Shout out Adub. This is version 1.1. Organize the file, optimize the file in XML files, and fix some of the code in the XML. Kind of cleaned up overall tidiness of the mod. Should work great. I did mention that we've got one mod that's new to console and an update to PC all at the same time. We get these quite often. The Class Axia 900 by Smeddy. We'll be talking a little bit about this later on in Farm Sim News. However, let's take a look. Let's customize this since it is for all platforms now. Well, first up, maybe we should talk about the changelog. If you're on PC, changelog 1.5 already. 
fix some textures, fix the weight and power, and fix some of the textures as well. I think they put that in twice. Uh-oh. And then this mod supports the simple IC and guidance steering, which is only PC. Now, for console players, let's customize. So this is quite similar to the one that we've got in game. However, this was released originally over a year ago, way before the Kloss DLC was released. So let's check this out. Main color. We've got Kloss. We also have black and white. So you can change up the colors that you like there. Rim color. We've got red, white, black, Kloss green, and chrome. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, let's go, man. And then in design color, we've got black, we've got chrome parts, and we've got green as well. Goodness gracious, that is hot. I'm leaving it. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg and Michelin and Trelleborg. You've got standard wheel weights. A <laughs> you also got wide tires, wides with weights, twins all the way around, rear twins, back to standard. In Michelin, we have standard, wide tires, wheel weights, wides with weights. Twins all the way around and rear twins as well. In design, we have black and we have chrome that's gonna change up your exhaust and engine setup. We have the 920, which is gonna give you 320 horsepower. We have the 930, which will give you 350 horsepower. We also have the 940, which will give you 380 horsepower. And the 950 with 410. Oh, we're keeping going. 960 with 445. And back to standard again. Yo, go with that 960. Get that 445 horsepower. Let's go. Maybe don't customize it like I did because this looks slightly ridiculous. But it, it's a good looking tractor. If you guys want it, hey, it's available now for all platforms. And lastly today, let's talk about mod updates for PC only. First up, we have Cantabria Infinite. This is going to be changelog 1.1. Fix the manure system compatibility. They've also added the price of some land and products, adjusted sounds. Vehicle spawn in the shop is more friendlier. Some buildings have retextured. More will come. Adjusted the position of some of the objects, signs, lampposts, things like that. And the straw in the composter is now compacted much faster. They have also, in addition to those, fixed some of the missing or wrong translations. And the French translation has been added thanks to Gooey Gooey Gaming. I'm sure I messed that up and I apologize. And your last mod today, we've got a mod update to the GEA Mix Feeder Animal Feeding Systems by LS Mod Company. This is PC only, changelog 1.1.0.1, fixed an error with the standard GEA Mix Feeder. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulated videos here on the channel. All that being said, I'm gonna ride this and we will see you later. Peace.